and hello everybody uh, welcome to uh, this next video of open form this video I want to start discussing uh, github well, what is github now if you go to github.com it will tell you what github is all right so github github is a software like you know cloud service kind of a thing uh, it's it's like Google Drive except it does way more than Google Drive for software yeah so bottom line is it's very useful to learn and in this video we just want to run through some of the basic commands of it like how to upload download and sync your folders in your Ubuntu command line file all right yeah so let's say you want to upload something onto github right uh, yeah and previously we already uh, have uh, many many previous versions of the flat plate file that we've been working on these are uh, sort of the versions of the open form files we're working on and github is very good um, that as we can we continuously change and update our versions uh, github will be able to track all these changes so that's the usefulness of github so what i have here is a, a, a new file uh, called the Blazius Laminar GitHub uh, file. So I've uh, made some changes to the previous uh, flat plate problem. So I'm going to discuss some of them uh, so that you know what's going on before I continue to upload. So probably going to take a few, few minutes now just to discuss what's going on inside the latest flat plate farm that I have before we go on. So let's go to open form files. So you can see to the top left, I've actually just made a Blasius Laminar GitHub uh, folder. Okay, so this is a copy of the last folder, except except uh, there are a few things I changed. So do do note this. Look at the block mesh. Yeah, you see the block mesh dot dict. I've increased the number of cells in the y direction by a lot. And also, I changed the grading ratios to 40. Now, this is to give the Y mesh a lot finer uh, resolution so that uh, we'll not just have uh, four boxes at the bottom, but more than four. So, to show you what I mean, let's take a look at this. Look at the U velocity, and then I want to look at wireframe. So, you can see that the bottom mesh is very 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 fine so you can imagine running this is going to take a long time and of course with a smaller mesh we're going to have a tendency to run higher current numbers so I need to reduce the time step as well so so I've increased the mesh uh, refund how to say uh, resolution to, to kind of make the block mesh really 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 fine to to get the to get the uh, what you call that get the resolution fine so that you can have a very good simulation and I ran it for about 10 seconds so you can imagine it it took a very long time so how long did it take exactly so I'll show you you can look at the log see uh, you want to go to the bottom yeah to go to the bottom you see it took about 1600 seconds which is uh, slightly under half an hour because one hour is three six zero zero seconds okay so this took a long time and i don't want to lose all this data so if i just press play and then you can see the laminar boundary layer kind of developing over time and then you can see the mesh is so fine that you, know, you can actually see the little distortions over here all right so these are the main things I changed. These are the the mesh, the mesh size. And of course I cut the I cut the length in Okay, so let me let me go and see. Uh, I cut the length in here. I cut the length from uh, so that it will be like uh, just a 5 meters the this there about I think it's five meters or zero point five meters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, five meters a hit. So, uh, or zero point five meters a hit. What was it? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
the key thing is I cut the length short so that uh, I could ensure that this only pertains to a laminar boundary layer so it's a laminar blasius flow you can see the boundary layer again okay so this is what I want to upload you see this very nice looking boundary layer if I scale it correctly so 0 to 1 and then uh, yeah you'll be able to see the, the little boundary layer forming at the bottom okay it's going to be pretty accurate <coughs> okay forgot the scale 0 0.99 that's where we want the boundary layer to be okay so you can see the boundary layer is developing very nicely over here you can see all these uh, little um, things happening here because of the fine mesh it's able to uh, resolve all these uh, vortices and little disturbances this is very, something very similar to, uh, what do you call that? Uh, direct numerical simulation on DNS. Okay? That's okay. Without further ado, let's, let's uh, continue. So, this is the, this is, these are the, some of the features I, uh, I made for this new file. And of course, I changed the run script as well. So, we have a touch blazius uh, laminar GitHub foam. Um, yeah, so that, that's how this uh, little script works. We have an all clean, we have a block mesh, which we don't run in the background because IcoFoam needs to uh, needs block mesh to be done first before we we run it. So we cannot run it in the background if not IcoFoam won't have a block mesh to uh, you know take a to go and uh, start working on it, working on the geometry. So this is uh, how our file works for now. Now let's say you have this file. Then you have this file that's ready to be uploaded with all this data and then you want to upload all this into github how are we going to do it so there are a few useful videos uh, i want to introduce to you there's this one that uh, teaches how you how to uh, upload upload this uh, video on linux uh no using a uh, using this uh, windows you can use you can take some of the tips from here or from here as well these are two of the useful videos i found while i was learning how to do github okay so that's a advertisement you don't need to watch that uh yeah so these these are some of the thing okay so these are the important commands here in his description so uh yeah and one of the things uh, that helped me a fair bit uh, was this article as well. I'll put putting it in the description. This gives you a step by step, all right, step by step uh, guide in how to how to uh, upload all this to GitHub. So I'm gonna leave these two videos in the description. I'm gonna cancel them first. So you need to create new repository. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So I'm gonna just run through these steps. First thing first, you need to sign up for a GitHub. Okay, so since I've already signed up, I'm just going to sign in. You just need to fill your e username, email, blah, blah, blah here. Do, do your usual sign up stuff. So, yeah, on GitHub, my name is, uh, I'm just me on Git. Yeah, so I'm going to type in my password. And then, uh, this is uh, my GitHub. Okay, so I have actually made a repository for my, some other video tutorials, some of my old files. So, first thing first is we want to make a new repository. So, uh, you just uh, go to the left, it will say new repository, and I just make a new one. So, what's the repository name? Uh, for this specific one, I just want to uh, have a laminar boundary layer. Okay. Laminar boundary layer. Okay. Maybe put open form on it. So or maybe I just sh shorten it to BL. Yeah, that's a much neater neater way. So this is a laminar boundary layer using open forms, icofoam solver 
okay so I can choose it to be a public all right public repository so that you can see it you can of course use it a private but uh, you can you can make it such that it's a private repository so that only you can see it but uh, yeah uh, you can only have so much as a free free uh, person so uh, you can of course uh, put readme files there which is which are very useful uh, for for uh, github so you put the readme file which means that yeah you'll describe to the people uh, who are seeing your github folder what is going on it's optional so i'm just gonna put initialize with uh, readme so i'm just gonna create this repository okay so it will start with the uh, it will start with this the readme.md okay so this is a very kind of a uh, mundane readme you can of course edit it okay so um, yeah so I can add a full stop there and then say uh, like what what else can we put in um, yeah we so let, let's say put the boundary conditions the boundary conditions in the u file r we have zero gradient on the top and bottom of the entrance region we have constant velocity on left side of entrance region zero gradient we have zero gr gradient on top of the flat plate region and the right hand side we have no slip condition on bottom of flat plate region so this is what it is uh, we have a flat plate region here zero gradient here zero gradient here zero gradient here zero gradient here constant velocity here so that's just what i'm putting this is a readme file okay nothing too nothing too fancy so i'm just gonna save it so the way to save it it's uh yeah um you commit changes so you gotta get used to this github terminology called commit add and everything so uh, come we updated okay we put the uh, velocity boundary conditions into in so added some description of velocity bcs okay so this is one these are some of the basic things so zero gradients okay nothing too much nothing too new so we just commit so we commit directly to the master branch that is by default that means well yeah unless you're collaborating with people you you want to uh yeah just do it directly to the master branch when people want to update your folder you can do create new branch but don't worry about that first you just commit the changes so this this will update your readme file so this is like uh, your so-called version 2 so you see um, you're able to see the the initial commit this is the, the initial version which will show you okay this is nothing much okay uh, but with uh, this new commit you are able to see this uh, new thing which is here so oh uh, we replace this whole sentence with this and then you're able to see the changes here nothing too new uh, yeah but it shows you the, the changes which is a very good thing for github so you, you are able to trace the changes you make all right so now uh, now back to ubuntu 
we are going to need to uh, we're going to need to do it uh, this way okay I'm going to just uh, run through a very lazy way of doing a uh, github uh, <coughs> uh, no, um, a so-called the uploading and downloading process okay so I'm going to make a github directory github open form so I'm going to make something like this make a github open form directory so let's go to the github open form directory okay so there's nothing to you uh, first thing first you have to install github so uh, install git on your computer so sudo apt get git so oh sorry hold on a while yeah looks like I forgot an install command anyway yeah so I installed it once before so these are the screenshots I did so sudo apt get install git so yeah uh, basically uh, since I've already installed it uh, there won't be much installation instructions going on uh, you just go through your, your whole installation as per normal type y when you need to etc etc done so if you want to check the version you just do this okay so that will show you the git version of it so git is like the, the code which you use to run github so now we need to configure git by entering our username and email just follow the instructions and make sure your email and uh, username are in those quotation marks so git config double dash global user dot name and user dot email now the next thing you want to check is whether we configure our uh, configuration file correctly do we enter our username and and uh, you, uh, email correctly. So to do that, we just do we just use git config double dash list, and then we press enter, and that's how we find out if we configured it right. So you just do that, then it'll show you what the username and email is. All right, 